Hi, I'm Haley Atwood, and this is Renata Serio, and you're a third year student. You did the FIP science program in your first year. Um, so I'm just going to ask you a few questions about FIP science, if that's okay. The first one is, why did you choose that program? So it seemed to me, kind of going to school, there's this really big emphasis on dividing the sciences and the arts. And for me, it just didn't make sense to do that. I had really big passions in both, and I really didn't want to choose. And FIP Science seemed like the best way to unite those two passions. Mm -hmm. So when you're a FIP Science student, how does your schedule differ between regular FIP students? So it's very similar. Um, you miss one lecture. You miss a Thursday lecture, which gives you time to take an additional elective. So you spend two courses of your time taking science-like oriented courses, and you usually, and then you ha engage in FIP with the rest of your peers. Mm -hmm. And how did you enjoy the program? I love the program. I thought it was the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. And what are you doing now? I am now a biology major with a minor in early modern studies. Mm -hmm. um, so when you were in FIP Science, what was your favorite reading and lecture? My favorite readings and lectures were actually ones that weren't necessarily oriented towards sciences. Um, they were really different from what I would consume otherwise. I loved reading about Hobbes and Rousseau. Um, philosophy and just kind of engaging in all different kinds of thoughts that I wasn't exposed to in my other discipline. Mm -hmm. Is there any advice that you would give to an interested high school student who wants to go into FIP science? Do it. Um, <laughs> it's a really great program. Um, you don't have to pick. You don't have to fall into the typical uh, narrative of choosing either science or the arts. I think that my experience at university is richer for being involved in both. Mm -hmm. So nowadays, where can you most often be found on campus? I'm actually found here a lot in the wardroom, um, either this or the King's Library. Um, I spend quite a bit of time in the Life Science Center at Dalhousie, but usually I'm around King's. <laughs> right. And so if you could have three people, dead or alive, at your formal meal table, who would they be? I would really love to speak to... Darwin, um, <laughs> naturally. I would also really love to talk to, oh, this is going to be a hard one for me, <laughs> um, probably a bunch of female scientists that didn't quite make it into the superlatives, so Rosamund Franklin, um, potentially Marie Curie, Mary Shelley, some literary influences that I would love to speak to. Mm -hmm. And then final question, what, is, what are a few of your favorite things about King's? I really love that King's has this really wonderful open atmosphere centered around the sharing of intellectual ideas. Um, coming from the sciences, there's a lot of, you kind of have to pay your dues, you spend a lot of time learning and listening and processing knowledge. At King's, there's a lot of, well, what do you think? And turning the question around and giving you an opportunity to have a voice and an opinion, which I relish and absolutely adore. That's super great. Thank you.